What's up everybody and welcome back here to Torch Drift here on the mobile platform. We're here today to do a new build on a new car that I have yet to actually build in this game. And I'm very surprised that I haven't built one yet. But if you have noticed up top, we do have some money and some gold. A big thank you to the game devs for hooking me up with some gold so that I could do some stuff for you guys here on the channel. So today we're going to be doing a build of a car that I have not done a build on yet. Like I said, so we're going to go check out the garage. We've got some money to spend. We're going to be spending almost half of that already on a car. I know a lot of people have been saying super builds and stuff like that. Super build will be coming because I do want to build the white body super, but I've had a super before. So today we're going to do something that I don't see too many of and I've never built. And that is the reason we got so much money is we did get rid of some of cars from our garage that we don't really use anymore trying to just streamline my garage and stuff like that. But so today we are going to build that Viper. I have yet to build a Viper in this game, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. Oh, what did I do? I hit the wrong button. But we're going to be starting off at 560 horsepower. So 249 grand for this Viper. And 120 to instant buy it. Thank you, game devs, for hooking me up with some gold so that we can get this build started right. So we have one crate to open for this build to start, and then we're gonna start buying some parts. So let's see what we can pull on this crate build. Probably nothing. Imp nah. Import suspension. Import intake. Those might come into play here. Let's take a look, and they will. So we are gonna be able to start off with a little bit more when it comes to suspension and stuff. So we're probably gonna get some different suspension, but we're just gonna throw the import stuff on for right now. And we gotta get some angle kits and stuff on here. But like I said, haven't built this before. So we're doing the Viper build and let's go check and see what we can buy. We got 160 grand to spend. Definitely not a budget build by any means. We do have gold as well to get instant buy stuff. So we do got a lot of parts here to buy. We don't have any angle kits. So this is going to be very interesting without any type of angle kit. Well, I mean, we have this angle kit. We could probably get an import angle kit if we needed to, because we could do the, I'm going to go with this one. We could do the sponsorship and get the angle kit on the car if we really needed to. I'm pretty much trying buying all this stuff now. Of course, we're going to instant buy that. We're going to instant buy that. And I just, I just did two. It's all right. We got money to burn right now. So we're going to buy all that stuff. Get to buy the clutch. And we're going to get into more parts. Exhaust. Tuner. Get as much power as we can out of here from the get-go. Definitely going to throw on the pro suspension and a pro tuner while we can links engine management so that's all we can do at the moment but now we need to go to alloys because we need we need some good wheels on this car and i'm trying to find i do love these wheels i have them i used to have them on my 370 i do have them on the gt86 but we also got some of these wheels we could buy but not liking really any of those right now so i think we're gonna go with the Kanzi, I know I probably said that wrong and butchered it, but we're gonna go with those wheels just to buy those on there, of course. And we're gonna go back. So, 713 horsepower, not the highest horsepower car, but looks like we're gonna soften this up. But it looks like we're gonna get some uh, pretty, pretty nice stance out of this right away. So we're gonna go here, gonna stiffen that up just a smidge. I'm liking the way it's kind of looking right now. So, angle kit. We got to throw as much lock as we can. We'll leave. Go five degrees of camber. On that angle kit. VCU all the way up. Stock turbo, exhaust. We're going to be leaving all that stuff. So, we're going to check the rear angle kit out here. Gonna go with a little bit of negative camber. We'll leave the toe zeroed out. So very unsure how this is gonna drive, but I do want to check. What do we run? Profile 30. We're gonna go 35 in the rear. Probably gonna run some 35s in the front as well for our tire profile. Yeah, 35s. 
we need to figure out tire pressure. We're gonna leave that at 16. I think we're gonna leave the rear where it sits also right now, 12. Okay, so we're gonna leave everything how it sits like that. So I wish we had a different angle kit. So I think we're gonna go throw on another angle kit, but engine, we are incompatible, 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 incompatible. So unfortunately, we'd have no engine choices at Sprite because, well, we 10. So we're gonna go adjust the sponsorships real quick. We're gonna go throw on, where are you? So many sponsorships, why don't I have that yet? So many sponsorships, I'm trying to remember, there it is. We're gonna select this sponsorship, we're gonna take over the WiseFab, and we're gonna go back into the garage, and we're gonna put the import suspension on, or the import angle kit, kind of give us a little bit of a advantage for that so that we can get a little more we don't have any brakes on here so we can get a little more angle out of the front so we're gonna fit the sponsorship part tune that throw all the way up we're gonna leave the camera we just needed that extra steering angle we're gonna throw it on the rear and make sure we don't go positive we're gonna go back to negative so that's what we're looking at for right now. I don't think we have body kits for the Viper. We do. I actually didn't even know there was body kits for the Viper. That actually looks uh, amazing. So we're gonna pick that up. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go broke. Now we're gonna instant buy that. We are close to being broke now. Well, actually, we are broke. We just spent a lot of money on this car. But hopefully it does justice. I'm going to tune that body kit if we can. We're going to leave that how it sits. So let's go run it, see how she runs. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. We got hill climb, desert palms, and the needle. So we're just gonna go practice with this car. This is gonna be the first episode with this car. We're gonna take it to the banks because we all love Cali Banks. First episode of this car, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this car. I'm trying to change up the cars that I drive to get a little bit, basically of a refresh here into the game. I think we're gonna switch to some Falcon tires. Get a little more grip. I'll send it, Viper. Unsure how this is gonna work. We're already scraping. Apparently I need to raise this car up. Oh yeah. This car needs to get raised a lot. <laughs> we are just scraping because of how little power, yep. I think third gear is where we need to go. So we need to Definitely adjust this. Let's stiffen that up. Raise it a smidge. Then we need to go to the front. And we need to raise it up. Stiffen it up. And we're gonna retry that. It's a Viper, definitely a different monster. So definitely excited to be doing this more and more with this car. Like I said, trying to bring a refresh of cars into my lineup. Looks like third gear is going to be our optimal gear. All right, no more sparking, so we're good. Just a little spark on entry, a little bit of spark on the little bobbles, but overall, car's handling pretty well. It's definitely a much different car to drive, and I feel like we need to maybe up the tire grip a little bit. But overall, it's not handling too bad. I kind of like how this thing is ripping right now. So we're gonna adjust maybe to get a little bit more tire grip. We're gonna retry that. I don't think we can change our tire type, but 
we're just gonna run it again see how it runs so Viper definitely a fun car I'm gonna be doing a lot more to this car you will be seeing me rocking this car a little bit more here on torque drift yep we need we need different tires so we're gonna go try and put some pro tires on it and see what we can do with pro tires because unfortunately it's not handling how I want it to on the import tires so let's go back to Cali we're gonna switch up tire compounds Gonna switch up to some pro tires we're gonna see how this goes now so if you guys like this you want to keep seeing more of newer cars here on the channel let me know down in the comment section down below as always do appreciate all the support and all the comments you guys bring to the channel the initiation on this car is a little weird it doesn't always want to go so we're gonna have to work that out but it does throw some nasty angle with the car right so we're gonna be working on this tune and working on this viper I feel like we needed a change of pace in cars not the best handling car at the moment I'm gonna have to fine-tune it so like I said make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter all of which are found in the description box below do appreciate all the support and you guys coming back and all the comments and if you guys are very eager for the updates so am I they should be coming very very soon when I'm allowed to let you guys know I will so we're going to try and get a better initiation with this on this final run. We need to mess with some suspension settings and stuff like that. Maybe stiffen this car up. It might be a little bit too soft. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Into the wall.